Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Ooh, judgment in reverse. Ooh, well, somebody didn't pass through judgment. Um, but I feel like you did. Okay, you're in Empress energy. You're being upgraded. Yes, you're having a victory. See, I feel like somebody was needing to apologize, and they knew it. They've been laying here, tapping on this bottom blade right That to me, is the Ace of Swords. They know they need to communicate. They're like, what should I say? What should I say? What should I say? They did this for, for a long time, possibly uh, up to three months, three years, maybe four years. Because, see, I feel like this person really wronged you. Um, I always, I, it's just me probably out here, so use your discernment, you know. But I always compare the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Cups. Because I feel like the Queen of Swords, she's, she's in this energy because she's been betrayed. Why was she betrayed? Well, she gave somebody the best love they're ever going to have. And they stuck a sword in her back, Okay. And I feel like now this is the energy that you're in. You're, you're, you've been wanting the truth. You've been waiting for the truth. You can intuitive, intuitively pick up that this person needs to give you some kind of communication, some kind of clarity and closure, um, an explanation as to why they betrayed you for loving them, okay? Because I feel like you had unconditional love for this person. You probably gave them the best love they're ever going to find, actually. Um, you could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe a Cancer, Taurus, Aries. But you're tired of waiting. Yeah, see, look at all the betrayal this person's put you through. I feel like they betrayed you once by sticking the sword in your back. Then you were kind of expecting or hoping this person would come back around and do the right thing by you, and they didn't. So now you're moving on, feeling that betrayal kind of all over again, but you're getting over it. You're, put, you're, you're putting it behind you, and you're moving to calmer waters. You're like, I'm done. You're done waiting for an explanation and for this grown adult to do the right thing. You're, you're tired of waiting, so now you're determined. You're determined to move forward, and you are having a victory. You're in Empress energy. You know you don't need anybody in the energy that you're in, right? You're uh, most likely you're attracting new opportunities and new soulmate connections to you like a magnet. Um, and you've passed through judgment, see? But this person didn't. I feel like with judgment in reverse, um, they were supposed to do the right thing and they didn't. They took, they took their sweet time with it. Or they thought that you would just wait. Or maybe they were afraid after the betrayal they caused you. Because I feel like this person sacrificed you maybe in a third party. Yeah. See, now may, they may want to come back in. Okay? But you're already um, determined to leave them behind. Yeah. See, I, I kind of get the sense that this person wants to confess how they feel to you now. You know, with the, with the King of Cups out here, um, I feel like this person is over-emotional. I feel that also they acted as though they didn't even care at the time for too long. This is one of those situations where there's clearly been way too much done wrong. There's been, you know, too much, too little of um, any kind of communication or justice. And it's too late for them to come back in now. Okay? Yeah. I've, I'm getting that this person is wanting to confess how they feel. Okay? They're about to approach you, Collective. But you may see this person as a manipulator. They, but here's the thing. Uh, I feel like this person will use whatever tool they have at their disposal to get another chance with you. This is what they want. And they want to try to, uh, you know, I'm getting convince you or talk you into it. It does feel kind of tricky, okay? Especially coming in after all of this time. 
you know, now they may want to do literally everything they can for the second chance, but where were they when they were called to come in in the first place? This person was laying down on this, um, making you wait for this communication, okay? Maybe talking about you behind your back as well. This You're, you're going to see this person as a player, a manipulator, and a backstabber. I feel like when they come towards you for this new, for this second chance, they're going to be like, I want a second chance. You're going to be opening up on them. Like, I really get the sense that you're going to have a lot of questions for them. You're going to be like, where were you before? Where were you when you left me behind hurting with a sword in my back? See, because this queen of swords energy, you had to pull that sword out yourself, bleed out, and heal all on your own, okay? Um, this person wasn't there for you. They, they sacrificed you and left you behind, possibly making you feel like, you know, confused, what's going on, and they acted as though they didn't even care. And I feel like behind the scenes, you don't even know what this person was saying about you. I feel like they were telling all kinds of, like, your secrets, your intimate secrets, they were telling lies about you, maybe trying to keep other people away from you or away from talking to you. Maybe they wanted to see you in this time of isolation, right? Because I feel like um, they turned a lot of people against you or they may have put the blame of all of this on you somehow, like this was your fault that you got left behind, right? Um, this person had in and out energy. I feel like they played you and then they, they kind of, um, you know, they made it seem like it was your fault. Okay. You're going to have a lot to say to this person, man. You already don't trust them. You see them as just a player and a manipulator. Um, uh, yeah. I'm getting the sense that you're going to see this person face to face. I got to say. You could be dealing with a Virgo, an Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius. You could be a Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, see, they, they made it sound like this was all your fault. Okay, they made it sound to other people like you betrayed them. Maybe they started a relationship with you and then they, they just wanted to play you and use you. So they told other people that you maybe um, used them or cheated on them. Okay, they, they made people think that they were a victim in this and they made you take all the blame. They threw you under the bus, tossed you to the wolves, and allowed people maybe even to slander your reputation, tear you apart, criticize you. Yeah, I feel like that's what they did. I feel like there were a group of people, um, there was a group of people who they turned against you, okay? That uh, they, they wanted people to be angry with you or hate you somehow. You know, they played the victim. Yeah. Mm -mm. Now this person wants to come back around for another chance after they did all this. And I feel like, too, there may be some people in the background that are starting to realize this person was just a liar. You know, um, they're starting to see that this person was obsessing about you. Um, what they're, all they do is watch you from afar. You've got this person blocked out already. You could be in a time of celebration right now because your life has been upgraded. You've been, you've transformed here. Um, and you're every queen in the deck. You're very abundant. Um, you're very stable. You're very independent. You could be a boss, business owner, entrepreneur. So you have a lot to celebrate. I feel like there's there's all kinds of gossip about you as well. Like the, I mean, all these people do. It's a whole group of people led by this manipulator. And all they do is talk about you. Okay? And this person is always like, ho-hum, the collective really hurt me. 
Wah, 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 right? That's what this is. Yeah. I feel like this person has no remorse. I, I'm, I, I just feel like um, they want you back, and there's this big old cup of, you know, this ace of cups out here. Okay, but yet they're showing really no remorse for this. Okay, like this was planned out. This was planned out. Yeah, all the secrets, all the lies, everything. They didn't, you know? And I feel like, look at the hangman is in reverse. This person hasn't learned a thing. They're all up in their ego. Okay, they're very arrogant. They're very nasty. The things that they've said about you are very harsh. Okay, and I feel like they're all lies. You know, they had people under some kind of illusion that you were some kind of, you know, um, cheater, liar, betrayer, some kind of, I don't know, harsh person. You could be dealing with the Pisces. And honestly, I just see you out here being patient, working. I feel like this person could have told other people that you were nothing, that you were broke. That you were never going to have enough to offer anybody. Okay, they could have made fun of your job. Um, they could have, yeah, they could have made fun of the fact that maybe you were in a financial struggle. I don't know. This is coming out on its side. I'm just getting the sense that they're, you know, they told some stories and they're sticking to it. Like, this person is just not going to give up. They're not going to admit that they were lying about you. There's a lot of gossip. I feel like they turned a whole group or a community against you, collective. And you know what? Honestly, I feel like you're in this energy where, you know what? You really just don't care anymore. Um, when somebody turns away from you or goes against you, collective, they're not true to you anyway. And I feel like in this stage... In this journey, being in the Empress energy, um, especially with how betrayed you you felt from a lot of different people, um, I feel like now you're just you're ready to move on and leave all these fake friends. It could be friends, family members, and especially this person. You're leaving them behind. You know, you want you want some true soulmate connections. People who are going to stick with you, okay? People who are going to be proud of you, celebrate accomplishments with you, encourage you, and build you up, okay? You don't need fake people to be bringing you down behind the scenes. You, you don't appreciate the slander. You're not going to deal with that anymore either. And honestly, I, I'm kind of getting the sense that you just don't care anymore what the gossip is. Let them gossip. You know, you give them a lot to talk about, collective. I'm getting that you're standing your ground here. Yeah. See, this is where this person wanted you, was in the Eight of Swords energy, feeling stuck. And I, I, they wanted everybody else to see you in this energy as well. Okay? It kind of feels like this person behind the scenes, they've been publicly humiliating you this whole time. And your some of your fake friends and family members have chimed in and joined them. But you know what? You're not in the Eight of Swords energy. You're in the Empress energy and the Three of Cups, celebrating your accomplishments. Happy and independent. You know, um, and honestly, I mean, as you move on with your life, what are these people going to say? And whatever they, they are saying, it's not stopping you. Yeah, you know what? You, you've been innocent in all of this. And people are about to see that if they're not already confronting this person about the lies. You've given people nothing but unconditional love. And you, re you expect for that love and kindness to be reciprocated. If people are, are going to turn against you that easily by listening to this liar, they're not your real friends. They're not true family members either. 
And I, I feel like you're just done with all of these people. That's the feeling I'm getting. Yeah, you're being divinely led. Okay. To have some, a new beginning, to close the door. And we got this in the cancer video too. Same, same um, pair here. Same combination. Spirits leading you to close that door. Complete the cycles with all of these people, including um, this troublemaker, right? Uh, this is the one who's starting all the drama for you. Uh, they just won't let it go. They won't. They won't let it go. They're holding on to some kind of grudge or something, okay? But they know they've got to do the right thing. They know that they screwed up, okay? Big time. Yeah. Spirit is telling you, stand your ground. Remain strong. You know, hold your head up high. Walk in integrity. You know the truth about the situation. You and the divine knows the truth. And that's all that matters. Okay? And close the door on this whole entire group. Anybody who believed the lies against you, you close the door on them. They're not true loyal, dedicated friends or family. Could be family here with the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be a Leo. Maybe Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries. You could be any sign, really. You know. Yeah. I'm getting the sense that this person just doesn't, they don't want to turn around and look at themselves. They don't want other people to think that it's their fault. Okay? They don't want people to know that. They don't want this whole entire group to know the truth. So they stick to their story, but that's all it is. It's a BS story. Okay? They may be Trump, trying to get people to think that they're a victim. Like, oh, I, you know, I can't go on. They could be, like, kind of emotional here as well. Yeah. But deep down inside, this person doesn't want to let you go. And they know they did, they did something really bad to you. Like, they know they hurt you and wronged you. Emperor energy. I feel like this could be a narcissist. Okay? Look at the way they're snapping their fingers and pointing down. Like, stay down. Or, you need to do what I want you to do. Everybody needs to believe what I want them to believe. This person is so fake. And I feel like they're narcissistic. They try to control the outcome. They're trying to control it still. But they can't control you. And um, you're being led to close this door, okay? Yeah, yeah, they're wanting to get together with an, with an empress. Very abundant, very stable. They want to control the situation because I feel like this person wants back in, but it's too late. There's been too much done, not just to you, but behind the scenes, behind your back. And too many people pulled into it as well that have turned against you. There's been way too little um, for them to come back around. You know, uh, they never gave you an apology. They didn't give you any, um, any reason for doing what they did. Okay? No explanation, no clarity, no nothing. And now it's too late. It's too late for this person to fix it with you. I feel like it's over and done. Sorry about that, you guys. My battery died. All right, you could be a Virgo as well. You could be dealing with the Cancer, maybe Taurus, Aries. Take it how it resonates, right? Okay. What else can you show me for my beautiful collective? Messages for my collective? Yeah, um, I feel like... Who cares what they're saying, you know? Um, who cares what people are saying about you, you know? They're all lies anyway, and you're, you're not going to have anything to do with any more fake people. <sighs> all right, what can you show me for my beautiful collective? Yeah, 
there's other things coming towards you. Spirit wants you to keep moving forward, stay in your own lane, right? Kind of mind your own business. I feel like you don't even want to be a part of their business anyway. Um, but there's some things that are coming towards you here. Yeah, look, you're about to start a whole new life collective. And I feel like Spirit has been storing um, blessings for you on the 5D. Now they're all going to start coming in, okay? Big ones, little ones, little blessings, big, small blessings, big blessings, right? Um, and you're leaving, you're leaving this group behind. Um, this is the past cycle. This is your new one. You're walking right into a whole new life for yourself. Okay? You've made it through judgment. But the people who didn't, and I feel like it's a whole group of them, they can't come with you where you're going. Not everyone can come with you where you're going. They have to earn that. They have to earn it. And these people have not earned it. You're leaving them behind. Um, but you did earn it. You put in your work, okay? And you've built something solid for yourself. So I feel like you get to you get to go in a new direction. And Spirit's celebrating you here on the 5D, okay, with all of this confetti. So you're being celebrated as well um, and upgraded, I feel. You're going to start getting some new creative ideas also. Yeah, Spirit's guiding you to, a, a, this is a new opportunity maybe that comes in, something you've been waiting for. If you've been waiting for a yes answer on something, it's going to be a yes. Like if you've been um, waiting to hear about that job promotion, did you get the job? Or you're waiting to hear um, about some kind of raise or bonus, or if you got the home, because I can see you moving away here as well. You're, it's going to be a yes. Spirit is blessing you, and they're aligning everything for you to move forward and start this beautiful new life. Okay? Yep. The old is ending. All right? And the old um, cycle, it's coming to an end. But whenever, anytime one door closes, another one opens. So this is regeneration. This is you ending something so this new life can begin okay and it's going to be beautiful the land of milk and honey okay so yeah just keep moving forward doing what you're doing you know focusing on you right not just all the hard work that you're putting in but actually do something to celebrate your accomplishments as well keep those vibes high and just know that spirit has way better things in your future, okay? Yes. And you're about to get a yes answer, I feel, from something that you've been um, waiting for, okay? It's going to be a yes. It's going to work and it's going to turn in your favor now. 